movieweb.com. So can you talk about like just the, how you first discovered this and like a, you're kind of delving into the, the research for the story to play uh, Prince Albert? Um, well, I had to begin kind of right at the very beginning because I didn't know anything about Prince Albert. So um, I went and bought you know every book that I could get my hands on, and, and it, it it's amazing. It, there's quite a wealth of historians that uh, really love Albert because I think he's so under recognised in the um, monarchical history of of my country. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yet, when you start to explore the contribution he made, it's it's really inestimable what he what he did. Um, so there's this great kind of fan club, you know, within the historical writing. Mm-hmm. Um, and people are very, very keen to talk to you about him if you express interest in the right circles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like his, his kind of ascension is almost as, as remarkable as, as Victoria's herself. So like, uh, just what was that part of the, the appeal of, of taking this role on, like just seeing his rise? Definitely. I mean, I think that they both, you know, had such similar kind of upbringings and, as you said, ascensions, and then came together in this almost clash of the titans type <laughs> thing and for some reason managed to come out the other side and have this incredible lasting love which was yeah very inspiring mm-hmm. so what was it what was it like when you first heard that emily was cast uh, up opposite you and like how was it just well, working with her it was actually the other the other way around emily was on board f- from mm-hmm. you know uh, from a long time and uh, i was probably the last person to come oh. on so i was aware that it was going to be her which was really exciting cuz yeah. I really admired her work, and I knew she'd be great in this role, and uh, it was it was very exciting. Yeah, I mean, it was, the direction was was quite fascinating as well. So, was it like working with uh, with Sean Mark as uh, as your director on this? He's great. He's you know he's a very hip guy, and I think yeah. you know he loves music, and he he's very kind of young in his approach to life, and um, that meant we avoided that sort of slightly stuffy. Um, preconception that's often associated with period movies and and he was really focusing on this story of two young people rather than two monarchical people so like this film's already open in Britain so like what do you think uh, uh, Americans will take from this uh, this kind of historical drama well I hope that it's um, more of a human story than a historical one I, I think it we tried really hard to um, explore the world as if it were contemporary as if we were there rather than looking back on it, if that makes sense. So, um, and it's really a, a very, uh, um, I hope, true charting of a, of a young love that blossomed into a complete sort of union of souls, if you like.